But then where's like, it's a balance. It has to be a balance. Right? A woman has to like, you can't neglect her from her perspective. It from has her to be a perspective. Yeah. But you also have to give her energy. But at the same time, a real one, one that you yeah. you know select to, to be like partner, wifey, however you guys, you know, uh, write it out. It's like she's going to understand. But then when you're with her, you have to give her presence. Yeah, and I that could means pay attention like, to my shit. I could, I could look at her in a way that she's walking across the room and tell what type of what if something's wrong with her. Right. If she may be having a problem with. I don't know, our kid or, what, you know, her mother said kid. something, right? Right. I can sense, I can, I'm connected to her enough to actually be able to look at her and say, come here, come sit on my lap. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Like, and just, I, I'm aware I'm connected in that way. Right. Most people I would say aren't, especially okay. considering like what you told me the other day when you said that most people aren't even really having sex that are married. Like a yeah. lot of marriage, a lot of marriages are sexless. Well, because things just get comfortable. Right. Like, yeah. think about it. When you're first dating, you had to plan a date. You had to pick her up. You had to go to a restaurant, make reservations, you know, pick out an outfit, do your hair, get your makeup done. Women yeah. get ready for dates. Mm -hmm. A lot of times when they get married, that goes away. They're like, I got the ring. I have the kids. I'm good now. If anything happens, I get a check. Like, everything's straight. And they forget to, like, keep that energy of, like, again, this is all contingent upon where you're living at in the U.S. and the tax yeah. brackets and all that. But you're not getting up and giving as much energy to putting yourself together like you used to. Date nights become obsolete. You guys mm -hmm. live together now. You're in the same house. You guys just Netflix and chill, order taken. There's no like magic. There's no mystery. There's no like, I'm just, I've been thinking about her all day. I can't wait to get home and just, you know, fuck her open to God. Mm -hmm. Like, this is what I want to do. Or mm -hmm. like, oh, I can't wait to get on my knees and suck his dick. Like, this, you need that sexual, I always say I'm a sexual polarity master. Like you need that sexual polarity. And in order to build that, there has to be distance and time apart I so say that, that that can all come together. All the time. There has to be separate activities of building divine feminine, divine masculine energy so that you guys are doing your life over here. She's doing her, whatever she's into, you know, mm -hmm. beauty, spa, music, girlfriends, you know, uh, back in the day, they used to do scrapbooking. Does anyone do that anymore? Scrapbooking? <laughs> Remember Probably that? It's like dates me. You know, whatever, whatever club that they're in, book mm -hmm. club. That movie just came out. I kind of want to see it actually. And then, <laughs> yeah. And then, um, you know, guys over here, cigar night, bowling, football, whatever, whatever it is, yeah. you do your separate stuff, yeah. then you come back together. It's really important that you don't dilute that energy because you know the law of entropy, atrophy, everything in the universe gets worse, not better. And mm. people seem to forget that concept when it comes to sexual polarity, attraction, relationships, and sex. We work at everything else in the world to get better at it, our bodies, our jobs, our careers, our children to become better parents. Do we not spend time with our kids? No, we spend time with them, sometimes mm. hard times, sometimes happy times. Same thing with the gym. If we want a better body, do we just look at pictures all day? Yeah, you can actually like, like imagine it, but you also have to actually Put get in the gym in, yeah. and lift the weights. Yep. Same with cooking. How do you get better at cooking? You actually fucking cook. Yeah. So to be, and then you learn. You probably take some classes, maybe get some recipes, maybe follow our grandma, auntie, whatever, mm. chef. Maybe you go to Italy and take a class. Then you're going to really have some game, right? Mm. Your own fresh pasta sauce. But people just do not apply that concept to sex and relationships. Mm. They don't think that you need to take a class on it to get better, but then they want to have earth-shattering orgasms, the best head of my life, we're so connected, we're so in love, but they don't do anything about it. Yeah, It's just like that's supposed to magically happen in a world where we didn't even talk about sex. Let me ask you another it's question. It's like, this is so crazy. Because I, I have something that's tied. Now I'm gonna leave it at this because um, I do plan on shooting a lot of content with you. Um, but let me ask you this question. Considering what you said about uh, you know, they're needing to be time apart in yeah. which, you know, he's cultivating whatever it is that he's doing based off of his and living his life. She's living a life and, and absence makes the heart grow fonder, whatever that is. Right. How do you think that the pandemic affected relationships, considering that people then had to be kind of locked in with each other? for a It while? was weird. I checked the stats because I heard all this stuff, but I also am always checking stats just to see what what was really going on there was mm -hmm. a lot of divorces i think more divorces than in a long time mm -hmm. i don't know the exact uh, uh years but there was a lot 
But on the other hand, there was also a lot of marriages. Like it was almost impossible to find a, a like a venue yeah. and stuff. I read that as well. Yeah. So there was kind of both, which it was like if you were in a relationship and it wasn't working, it just did not. Like you got stuck together and it didn't make things better. It made them worse, right? Because then you're with that person, unable like unable to like leave mm -hmm. and then you have kids and then you're homeschooling kid and like all the stresses that that come and it just it did split up a lot of couples probably for the better right mm -hmm. even though i am for the family dynamic staying together at all costs even through cheating i don't believe in divorce like mm -hmm. that unless there's a physical violence abuse then of course it, it goes back to the first law of of yoga the ten commandment if you will is like non-violence yeah so other than that i'm for family staying together yeah but in regards to like the marriages, it was also like couples that kind of got put together. It was more, it, it was kind of like, okay, well, we're in this. What do we do? There's a lot of kids that were born, obviously, right? Mm -hmm. um, and so I think it was a lot of um, like old chapters being closed and then a lot of new chapters, how the relationships are faring today. That's the new stats that I want to check out. But last I checked, the the marriage and divorce rate was pretty much so the same. It was about in that, um, it, it vacillates from like 50 to 65%. But at one time when I checked about a year ago, it was like not even 50. So it was mm. kind of going back and forth. Yeah. Um, so I think what the pandemic really did for relationships was it amplified whatever was going on. Mm. right because they say money doesn't make, make you, you something person. it just amplifies whatever it, it is that's correct so i think if there was problems there the, the problems just went boom and imploded and divorce mm. i think if there was like a budding of a like a new something like for instance my neighbor is a perfect example my neighbors across the way they don't live there anymore there's a cute couple and they both worked in like some kind of medical sales or something i forget exactly mm -hmm. she lived here he did not he was from the bay mm -hmm. but they worked in jobs and so he had uh in the same company that, i guess that's how they met because what's the number one way people meet their spouse or yeah. that someone they cheat on what yep. is it it's at work proximity yep. so everyone people that's close remember to that you. yep. if you're trying to get married and you don't leave the house bad yeah bad news bears go out and meet people whatever it is you do go to church go plant a tree go to the store that's do something wrong. you know leave the homes it's not leave happening. your homes so proximity is how they met he was down here visiting her mm -hmm. for a weekend which i'd seen him before obviously and then the pandemic hit and they were quarantined everyone so he couldn't leave he just ended up staying here for like the whole whatever that whole pandemic time then they ended up getting like engaged and they moved she moved to the bay with him mm. so it worked right because mm. it was like so it just amplified whatever was going on mm -hmm. right um but i think people got really used to also being in isolation so if they weren't coupled up then they kind of stayed that way like yeah. and today like you said they're more up to just get on an app or just slide a dm or just do uh, porn. The other thing I think is interesting is people will get on dating apps, but they won't actually date. Mm. They get on the apps as kind of like an ego boost, mm -hmm. like they'll make a lot of dates, but they'll never go on them. Mm.